Hello everybody and what is up? It is Ray and I'm just letting it say um well I'm just going to say something very quickly. I apologize for any background noise that is about to happen in my little intro part. But I'm gonna go close my window after this because I'm a dumbass and I've got to close it. But I don't want to end it now. So you know, as you can see by the menu screen, already it looks insane. I mean, does that not look confusing and insane to you? Because if it doesn't look confusing to you, then you're just plain, probably not as crazy as I am. So, let's get into it. So, what you need to do to start off your adventure in From the Depths is you first have to go over to here. Well, first you'll have to make a person, basically. Well, not a person, but you'll have to make a name for your guy. Space so Mountain Gaming. Pretty obvious. Now, first you go over to the vehicle designer just to start creating and learning the basics of the game. So let's over the, head over there and it will be right back. So now as you can see guys, you start off on this little tiny raft, this starter raft basically, and there's always a one block of lead on things and I'll be showing you stuff about the lead blocks later. So. It's alright to start off on these raft blocks, but you'd rather start off from plain, simple scratch, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. So first, to even start building, you've got to press B, which puts you into this mode, which you can then scroll out and stuff, and you can start building. So you just, what you actually want to go out a bit, you want to go to Construct Tab, Tab Tables, basically. You want to go to Vehicle, and you want to start it off somewhere, so maybe we might go there. And if you want to stop all the shaking while you are trying to build, you press caps lock basically, so that will bring you up elevated into the air, which will allow you for a nice, simple, smooth build. So now to start off our building, well, uh, not our building, well when I say building, I mean ship, it's just a habit. N mirrors things, so if you go N, it'll split in the middle, which you can't see right now because there's no like three blocks either side. But if I go this way, it'll bring a wooden block out that way as well. So whatever way you're looking at, it'll end up going in red removed basically. Basically, and if you look backwards and you press right click, it'll go back. So basically that's that so you just want to let's say so let's start here let's go 10 blocks forward 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so that's a pretty big start I guess so now you basically you want to mirror the middle so you just press N you don't have to be in the middle you just got to be on the middle block which is this one so then you just press N and it will actually mirror the mirror block and you can go down a block by pressing ALT and you can go up by pressing space or you can do the alternative by looking up you'll figure out the controls they're actually kind of difficult to explain I guess and they're kind of difficult to get used to so we just want to start off with that basically and then we'll go up and this is how I start off all my ships and if you are watching Now, to make a ship look awesome, you'd prefer them to be out a bit. Now, this is how I'd like to do my design. You can do your design however you wish. But for mine, and for this video, we will be doing this if you are following along. Like, if you're following along exactly what I'm doing. So, you basically, you'd those two parts I guess basically we just want it to be nice and simple so now we've got a simple sort of design design scheme so we'll just come out with all this like that. 
and we'll bring these out a bit and we'll add a block here and then a block on the bottom so that we don't have that ugly looking forward bit so let's go up fill in this boom so we've basically got our front bit set up I could have done a bit better on the front but this is just a basic tutorial slash review on the game so now what we want to do to stop if I press caps lock and it drops down water will go in as you can see to stop that immediately I'll just go back up um, we need to go over to water we need to get an air pump and we'll just put an air pump right here at the front now that when we go down okay that didn't work um, right, we'll go back up and we'll try it soon sometimes things glitch out a bit uh, this game is in pre alpha still so Let's actually um, delete this part. There we go. Looks nice, I guess. Yep, looks good enough. So, for our first simple like weapon, we want a ram, which, as you can see, has this mechanism that we can flip around. Now, for it to be really simple, we don't want to all of a sudden get to our destination, which is here have to do this and not be able to see and stuff if you press G it'll lock it straight in to that place and we can make a simple design for the ram maybe one down here as well and one over here just to give it a design those pr probably won't do anything for you in battle <laughs> Actually, we might get rid of those because I have a plan that we could do with those maybe later. So we go up a bit out. Alright, so that'll be good enough for a front part. You can design those however the hell you want. Um, and now we need to go over to water. And we don't we Let's add a boat propeller. Basically. Um, can't, you have to add boat propellers to the back of your ship. Which is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, three can work. Um, add an extra in the middle because with rudders we'll be going like uh, this. Boom. And boom. We, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. And I'm gonna change it up. So if we go to blocks and we add a lead block on the bottom of this ship, it won't drag the ship down, it'll actually balance it out a bit. So we want to try and put one of them straight in the middle, like that. So now you'll see when we do this, you won't see a whole lot of difference f to start off with, but as you can see, the air pump and the lead block is really helping everything balance a bit better than it was before so let's go back up and uh, let's start working a bit more on this part ready and then just bring it across We have our simple design. So what we want to do now is I'm going to take a quick cut and I will get back to you in a second. So now we want to start making our engines and to start off we want to get quickly go 
not to mask to resources we want to go to fuel storage tanks we want to put a few of these down so we'll put them boom let's just start off with four we'll go to resources no no we'll go to engines we'll go to engine block we'll put it there so that's our that's our engine block basically and then we want one crankshaft I guess to start off with and then and then cylinders they can be any side you want them to be but for now we will just put it above so yep that'll work like that so that's on Okay, that's good. Fuel, all good. So let's now go over to blocks again. Um, you can decorate with whatever you want, but I recommend. Actually, what does this look like? Alright, we're not going to use that for the story. We want to go over to vehicle controller. We want to get a vehicle controller itself and we'd want to put it maybe about here now you can put it wherever you want but you know you just go along with the tutorial because things can go wrong and if you haven't copied exactly what I've done you might get it wrong even if you think you've got it all all good to go so we'll just look for a chair that's what I'm trying to look for um, And if we go into our person, we'll be able to get over there. So let's get a jump up. There we go. So now that ship is kind of fully functional, I can look up here. Oh god, the ship does rock a bit. We'll have to, we'll have to configure that a bit, won't we? So let's fly. Okay. So if we go. Hmm. It's not moving. <laughs> that is funny. Okay, it's on water mode. Fuel is all good. I'm gonna quickly go look at something. And hopefully when I'm back I'll be able to tell you. So hello everybody and I just um I had a, like a blank moment sort of thing and I had to go back through a tutorial that I looked at earlier to find out actually how to get the ship to work because um what I showed you before was right but I've kind of changed out the layout a bit. Um, um I changed it out by doing that basically and it's not gonna do anything really but um you can keep it the way you want but if you want to, which I think it will work, if it's not working already, is go up T, so basically you just have to click up as a green, and T as a green, and you do that for each of them basically, and to do the engine, I will actually restart it for you, um, boom, so we've got the four, five fuel tank things, we want them all at the back bit, like literally all at the back. No, for so, so for some reason something's gone wrong, something has gone wrong. But if it works for you, put the fuel tanks there, if you want to. You can do exactly what I'm doing if you want, I don't think it really changes anything. So what you need to do is you need to put the engine block down, then you need to put a crankshaft. Oh, I know what's happening. The boat, it thinks that I want to change everything to this way. So I gotta tell that no, until it, it is really making the wrong decision.
There we go. I knew that would work, just configure with the buttons a bit. So that should work in that part. So now that we're looking at everything, let's um let's just go into tab, let's sit down now and see it. And I press tab again. And let's just turn around. So let's get some speed. And turn around. So I've basically done that little design there. I don't think it's going to affect our <coughs> boat in any way, so you can lay it out however you want. I think you've got the basic idea on how you lay out the engine, but basically that is how you lay out the engine. Now, as you can see, the ship is not going too fast, but that's because we got quite a bit of stuff on it. Alright guys, so I figured out what I did wrong, and it was a very nervous mistake. I pressed G when I was looking this way, which locks it in, which I taught you how to do before, but I didn't realize that I pressed it. So now I can go in the direction I wish. So let's uh, see if it works now. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry for that inconvenience. I would probably cut out a lot of that part. I think I can easily just bring those back. If I can't, I'll just take them away again, but you know. Okay, so, yes I can. If I face it on it. Right. So if I face... The yep, so I can do everything really now. So let's do two, because you saw how fast it went before. And it wasn't very fast. So let's... Let's add a cylinder there. And a cylinder there. A cylinder there, a cylinder there. Go down a bit, cylinder. Cylinder. So let's make sure these things still. Be. Oh, they're actually using power right now. Okay, that's. But it's not. Okay, so forward doesn't matter. This is this great. This is exactly what we wanted. You know, we were asking for nothing to work, weren't we? It's mm -hmm. exactly what I was doing. I was saying, please, nothing work. It'll be key. a great recording. So listen. Okay, good. So now it's moving, which means it's working. And that one should start moving too. So now it's working. Now I'm doing it. I think it's actually going forward without me asking it to. Yeah. Let's see how fast we can get it. So let's go back into this guy's mood. Okay, so we've just basically broken that thing. I wonder what you're doing here. Anyway, so let's slow down the boat. Let's bring it to a kind of a stop. There we go. So now it's at sort of a stop. So So if you press TNG it stops the ship basically. I might end it, no, not gonna end it, I'm just gonna pause it here and I'm just gonna go So, hello everybody, and I'm back to show you what you can basically do with a simple ship, right? Um, 
what I have done with the simple ship. So I've done everything I've taught you how to do and just um upgraded it a bit. But I haven't added any like proper weapons on it because I haven't done that tutorial yet. But this is this ship is basically gonna be the tutorial ship where every time I add something I do some stuff new to it. So I'm just gonna quickly sit my guy back in the seat. I'm gonna show you how fast the ship goes now that I've added all the things on it, and I'll show you what I've added on. So it goes at a decent speed for a pretty big ship, and uh, when it turns, I've got it going pretty fast. But it does flip over sometimes if you're not careful. <laughs> I'm going to start fixing that up once I do other tutorials, I'm not planning to fix it in this tutorial one, so I didn't bother, so you just press T and G and the whole thing stops, comes to a good stop. So I've got three extra lead blocks to stop it from doing like the massive sways, which it did. I've added a few more propellers, I've added a lot of things basically, I've just kind of decorated it a bit, so I'm just going to zoom in a bit, we'll go on here. Now I have all I've done is I've basically upgraded the the engine and I've added exhaust carburetors and superchargers which are very easy to work. Now you can't access this part just yet because I'm but basically this is this place just has like billions of barrels of fuel and air pumps in it so nothing nothing too bad will happen in there. Uh, we'll just close the door. And if we head over to the back, so I haven't done much. I've just added some metal, some armor, and everything. Head over to the back. I've added a whole bunch of rams just in case if another ship wants to ram into us. I mean, there's more than there's more than needed there, but I reckon it just gives it a bit of an effect. Like these ones, they're not really going to do anything unless a ship comes sort of from that angle. And these ones right here, they're not going to do anything at all. And I'll probably remove them when I start doing other things. But these ones are like the main ones and will do something and these ones right there and I've added glass there so you can see in I might have to change that up because um, I don't think engines work when they've got water and I've got loads of propellers on the back so that's basically all I've done and that's basically what you can do and you can do even more than what I've done I'm just trying to get some good tutorials out um, for what you can do so basically I'm just press add, let's go this way Yeah, it's not it's not a very good turning ship just yet, but I, I think I can add rubber and some light blocks and stuff, and it will go good. So now that I've got all this done, everything's all set to go, and I think I can end this tutorial. So I want to quickly just uh, give a shout out to Indie Games for actually giving me this game, and uh, you will see quite a bit of content from it. Um, hopefully, it's not a yes or no, but if it is, and even if it isn't, please go subscribe and like videos on Indie Games channel for Freedom and MGN. And once you've done that, everything will be good to go. So I'm just going to stop it. Um, so yeah, that's basically all I have to say in this tutorial. I hope you understood very well. This smoke is just from the exhaust, by the way. I just don't have anywhere for it to escape, so it just goes through the blocks. And it looks like everything's about to blow up, but it, it isn't. So I'm just going to... To end it, I'm going to ram the basic sh starter ship. And, um... We'll be good to go. <laughs> I don't want to ram that. Yes, I do. Why not? Why the fuck not? I mean, I don't think it causes any bad... Um... I should probably take the propellers off the side or configure with them a bit because this ship does not turn. But I'll do that before the next tutorial and I'll tell you if I have changed it. So I guess we're not going to end it by ramming it, but whatever. You totally missed. So see you later, guys, and I hope you enjoyed.